Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to be back after a day off wrangling a three and a half year old. But uh, that is what I do. I did actually, she's getting to the point that I can do a little bit of work. So Susan, I was trying to help with our big project, you know, mm -hmm. and so I was like, okay, let's try this. So it was nice. But you could see she's definitely likes uh, all the attention. She'd be like leaning on the computer, like on purpose, right? To put her elbow right on the keyboard. She's like <laughs> a cat. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, you're working? No, let me she's lay in the middle me of up. your computer so you can't. She was, her mom picked her up and then I came to work to teach and then I went back and they come over and she forgot her blanket at my house. And then as she's walking out the board, or she's like, can Stitch spend the night? I was like, yeah, that's up to mommy, you know. And so Stitch Stitch sleeps on the floor, and she sleeps on the floor next to Stitch. Aww. It's so cute. I could watch him in the, on her nanny cam. And she slept in until 830. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? I said, that never happens on my day. Right. She's like 605. She's Mimis not sleeping here. with Stitch. You need to go drop Stitch off on Wednesday nights. I'm going to try this Wednesday night just having her sleep with me. Like, just sleep in bed with me. I don't know, because, God, then I think I'd have to go to bed early. Starfish. I know, right? I want a device. Now, anyone who slept with someone before, I want a device in, let's just say you have a king bed, that the minute they start creeping into your space, just a little bumper pops up, right? To, so they're sleeping and then they're like, bing, go back, right? You Stay on your side. Bumper all the time. Just put a pool noodle under That's the sheet in the middle. Too big. She would never go for that. It has to be more subtle than a pool noodle. It just pops up. Mmm. Nice. Sharon says she loves when her grandkiddos spend the night. So good morning, everyone. It is a spring day here in California. Last week we had 90 degree days. It's in the 80s. Windy as all get out. All my umbrellas are down again. And shout out to Cindy Fasano's husband. I went to Ace Hardware. We have Ace Hardware. He helped me with a project. And if Cindy's watching this, tell him it totally worked. I jerry-rigged my beautiful umbrellas that they're the leaning over oh, ones. Yeah. And when we had super windy day, one of my neighbors came and took them down. But somehow all the parts got... I don't know what happened to the parts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I jerry-rigged it so I didn't have to buy two new umbrellas. Good morning. Good morning. Bev, everyone's like that. This is what I hear. More and more people should have separate bedrooms. Squishmallows. That's a good idea, Deb. Yeah, then she gets to have toys in bed. But she's so buffers. excited about spending the night. I mentioned it yesterday, like about next week. And she's like, she's trying to wiggle down from her mom. Like she's spending the night at my house. And I was like, well, not tonight. And then she loses it. Like, oh, sorry, yeah. sister, we're not talking about today. But uh, yeah, I do like, I want a whole king size bed to queen size bed to myself. Is that a problem? Right. Not I mean, really. you, I it's want a nice. queen size bed to myself. I love it. I like to sleep diagonal. I do share with the cat. Oh yeah, I don't. Even, no, I share with no one. The I dog really sleeps. The dog sleeps on his bed right by me. I only oh. notice the cat when he sleeps on my head. Well, there you go. That's kind of funny. All right, let's talk about. I'm gonna let you talk about the grand prize today. I'll make it all beautiful for you. So we have three skeins of the beautiful Summer Tweed Degradé in color 101, which totals a little over 600 yards, giving you enough yarn to make any of the three included patterns. The smallest size on the top, which we do have more of this color, if you're like, okay, but the smallest size won't fit. So you can just add a skein or two. Then we have the Tablon Cowl, which is a modified fisherman's rib. And then Sunset in the Desert, which is sort of like a basket weave variation. It's little triangles instead of rectangles. It's really pretty. Thank we you, Na Natalie. Some super fun socks, because one can never have too many fun socks. And then we have our class supply tin with all your essentials, 
all in one place. You've got the tape measure with our little damn lamb logo on it. The folding scissors, locking stitch markers, a tapestry needle, small and large iridescent ring markers, because who doesn't love beautiful, colorful stitch markers? And then a leopard print project bag with one of our Natique exclusive markers with the little world of imagination phrase on there. And this one has a bigger ring, so it fits up to, I think, size 13 needles, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. So how you get entered into the drawing for this fantastic prize every time you make a purchase in the boutique on our website or over the phone, you are going to get entered. So if you have, um, it is cumulative. So if you purchase uh, two times over the month, you're going to get two entries, four times four entries, so on and Uh, we will be doing the drawing live on Saturday, July 1st, and we get a three-day weekend. We're so excited! Because that never, never happens. happens. Most holidays are Monday. on Mondays, yep. and we're already off. Three-day weekend. It's amazing how many other businesses also have Monday as their day off, because yeah. it's like, I always think, oh, well, I can run over... To such and such, but no, I can't. Nope, they're closed. Like that divided sky tavern. No Mondays. Oh, no Mondays? Oh, it's so good. We need it's to go like, back to that oh, restaurant. Boo. All right. So our daily prize is one of my favorite yarns. A substitution for this would be any of the worsted weight noros. This, I think this was Susan's first pattern. I think so too. Stripes and ridges. Uh, we used a worsted weight self striping yarn. What we have for the price for you, which is even more exciting, this is a retired um, yarn and uh, it's beautiful. It's a super wash self striping. Uh, when we were able to get it, we sold so much of this yarn. This was our number one selling yarn in the store, um, but it is a super wash, but you could substitute any of the Noro worsteds. Even if you have leftovers in Noro, you can just use all the leftovers and create it. It'll go together really nicely. We did um, one project out of this. I should reteach that class with Noro. But it used, we used five different colors of this, and everyone, every time people wanted all five colors, it looked so much um, more custom because it wasn't the same all the way through. But this is a worsted weight yarn, uh, machine wash, cold water, lay flat to dry. It does have the wool mark, uh, but beautiful. You can see all the colors that come in this one. So you're going to have enough to do the small or the medium with two skeins. But like I said, if you have a couple skeins of Noro in your stash, like Silk Garden or one of the barrel balls, this is a perfect project. Um, it is not difficult there. It's a four row repeat. So really nothing crazy. Silky twist would be nice too. Silk, yes. Mm -hmm. that new color behind you that would be beautiful yeah and it's saying this one that, and one skein's enough yeah, one skein would do the small or the medium and this is for being um, a worsted weight smaller amount it is very it is very seven right it's definitely a self striping this would be beautiful Hey, maybe we should have Karen. 761. Hmm. Karen, Did that just wanted, pop off? Yeah. When you twisted it, it went flying. Oh, I did take the label off. Well, I don't know if you intentionally took the label off, but you did. I did? No. Yeah, because when I you untwisted like, it, it went flying off the skein. Um, I love this, though. That would be a fun little project. Karen. Oh, Karen. Because it's fast, too. This, oh, Karen said, Karen, do what? 
this cowl out of this yarn. What do you think? And she's so busy this week, you know. We're surprised you're even listening. Maybe she's got us plugged in. Oh, I think the event wasn't the event over yesterday, so she might actually have some breathing room today for yeah, five minutes. Till the next okay, run, Karen. All right, we're setting it aside for you, Karen. All I'll right. Say that Sandy will get you to do it then. Exactly. Finally a rest. That's Woo. good. That poor girl. She's been working super hard. Overworked. All right. So how you get entered for the daily prize. If you are new to watching us live, welcome, welcome. We're really excited to have you here. You're going to get entries, one entry for every reaction. When you comment, ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. That is going to give you five entries for every comment. And if you share now and share to your stories, right back in and write that information that I shared to my friends, shared to my stories, 11 entries for each of those. All right. So based on yesterday's video with Anna and Susan, thanks everyone for sharing. Pat Nathurda, that's exciting. Hey, Pat. Congratulations. Uh, so we know you're local because I have your sweater to block. Uh, so that means that you can stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and say, I want a prize. Can I pick it up, please? We'll pull it out of the cabinet for you and hand it over. If you are not local and have won recently or win in the future, the way you collect your prizes is when you place an order at thetcarens.com. Right before you check out is a section called notes. Just pop in there a little note saying, I want a prize, and we will pack it all up together with your order and get it sent out in one of our pretty pink packages. Man, I just did <laughs> one minute. I almost got all that. Okay, we'll look at these delicious candles that come in gorgeous little tins. Somebody the other day was like, oh, that's a great little tin for storing stuff in. Yes, yeah, you just have to use the candle first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, which that is a perfect way. These are great size for like your stitch markers. So after you're mm -hmm. done with your candle, you just I pour watched. some hot water in there to rinse out the last of the wax mm -hmm. and then voila, dump in some stitch markers and you're good to go. I just think whenever uh, everyone who travels, you need to get one of these candles mm -hmm. and you put it in your suitcase. And then when you go to the hotel room, no matter how good they are, they always kind of have a scent to it. You don't burn it. You just pop it open. And so then it smells good. I mean, this is my favorite color. Favorite one, this one. And I've discovered, like, if it's a room that has the window to where you could set it, like, in the window ledge mm -hmm. from the sun warming up the candle, it will disperse the smell a little bit more. Ooh, this one's nice. This, that's nice, the vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla is really nice. I really like the French Cade Lavender. Ooh, that's nice too. If you're a citrusy person, the Taraco Orange is amazing. I forgot which, even though I'm the one who bought these, I'm like, oh my gosh, they forgot smell how good delicious. They smell. Yes. I just, I do like little candles and I learned that from traveling because I do Airbnbs a lot is that I always bring a candle. And if I have to light it, I'll light it. But otherwise, you know, people's areas are more damp and, you know, there could be a boy that was there. So then they got boy funk. So I just saw a video of a, like a cleaning company that cleans Airbnbs. And this place was thorough. Like they took and re they take and rewash all the dishes yeah. out of the cabinets. I would say that, but I think a lot of people do the cleaning themselves. Yeah. Like I check the first thing I do, I check for uh, bed bugs just in case, right? 
I always I see. It's actually big enough to see. You can see them in like the corners of things. It's it. It's not like you're seeing a bug. You just see what looks like them. So I always check mm -hmm. that. And believe me, mm -hmm. I'm wearing my glasses. One of the places that I went in, Harris, I don't know if I said this, the first place, I think it was this guy's apartment. So he was staying with somebody else. But it's the first time I've ever been that people, their whole wardrobe, the closet was filled with his things. Oh, right? Yeah. And it definitely smelled like boy. So my candle came out. Yeah. I was like, well, that's interesting. Like, this is definitely a man's yeah. place. You just learn, like, okay, maybe I should have asked. Like, I don't know. I never have had it be someone's place. It should say that, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't have stayed there. It was cute, though. So cute and nice. All right. I'm excited. You guys know holidays all, you always bring your own pillow. I bring my own pillowcase. I'm particular. So, I travel. Thank you. I love this is protein coffee everyone this you want to know how you get 30 grams of protein in iced coffee with protein shake it's delicious and then you have a follow-up water of water this if i drink these then i've hit my water goal my liquid goal because i count this i know some people say don't but i'm like you're not my people yeah. my my people count liquid i count any liquid any liquid coffee, that's soda. right otherwise this 90 ounces of water who could drink i'd be eating all the time it's i not, guess you're not fun. supposed to drink any other stuff you're just supposed to drink water i mean i don't but really this i really don't drink much more than these yeah. two things but right. i like other things so i'm drinking other things than water mm -hmm. sorry not sorry no <laughs> all right today we're talking about one of my favorite um more glamour yarns, but more on a sophisticated level. This is the concept by Katya Cotton Merino Glam. There is a little bit of glitz. And what I like about the glitz is it's color coded to the yarn. There's 131 yards on this beauty. It is an eyelet construction. So it is very lightweight, 50 grams, 131. So that's about 50 more yards than a traditionally plied yarn. Uh, what I like about it is it's a blend of cotton merino and a couple other things, but that makes it be an all weather uh, yarn to be used for sweaters, scarves, cowls, hats. We've seen lots of people use it for different things. It's 46% cotton, 34% extra fine merino, 12% polyester metallic, 8% polyamide. You're not going to believe this. Machine wash, lay flat to dry. And so many amazing patterns. It is worsted weight. Like I said, you can easily knit it on an 8 to 9 needle. And I'm loving just that first color because it is dark, dark, dark. Melanie, I don't think I can make a tank dress like you. My stomach's bigger than yours. This is color 306, which is a jet black. But you can see when I go in really close while it throws the shade of the black off, you can see all the pretty shimmer in there. There's kind of two tones to the shimmer, so you get kind of more blue tones and more gold tones as it reflects the light. Oh no, let me pick out that. No, we just like that one. I know. I was like, oh my gosh, she picked it too? No, okay. I think this is, oh, I love their patterns. If you guys haven't seen this duo's pattern, they're the pickles. Anna oh, and yeah. Heidi Pickles. You know how they normally, on the kids one, they give you one size for free? Yeah. But look at this cute. I love this. And the sleeves are blousey. That's gorgeous. That's a beautiful stitch. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just a worsted. They did put um, something with it, but you don't need to. It already has its own halo on it. Look at that, 2XS. Good for you guys. I love that. 
I'm trying to think with measurements laid flat. That's an interesting way of doing it. So it's so it's a 36 to a 58. Yeah, why are these the same? 18, 21, 21, 25, 25, 25. Maybe it's just a roundabout size. Hmm. It's that is strange. Is it new? It's really. I would definitely wear this one. The only thing that I would do different, the neck's a little too high for me. But I don't think I could change that. It's, You'd have to just start it with like right there. here. Mm-hmm. In this spot. Because there's got to be an increase right there. I mean, I love fast projects. Sixteen. Ooh. All right, keep talking. Okay, let me grab another color. So we have color number 302, which is kind of a oh, patina like bronze. It has that light greeny gold you. look to it if i oh, come shoot. in this one? super close um this one is like gold and a little bit of silver metallic <laughs> the one that you're like don't take the package and then you almost took it I'm glad it was you because I'd have probably taken it and not yeah. realized what it was so it was too late. Too late! <laughs> She's shiny squirreling, folks. No, oh, they're really pretty, though. They're pretty, yeah. We'll talk about it. I mean, the they are quite literally shiny, so shiny squirreling is appropriate. <laughs> All right, so maybe what what should we have done different? White? Maybe white instead of black? Yeah. I don't know. It's so hard when you when you can't see, because, like, the mock-up doesn't even look like no. that. That's all right. I'm still going to put it on. I'm like, I don't have any room left. I'm going to bring a different cup. You got to squeeze it in. I got more cups. They're probably like, will you stop showing us those two balls of yarn and tell us what you're doing? I literally just put it on for kid. Oh, no. Because once you start, you can't go back. It's done. It's over. That's fine. All right. Let's talk about a couple more things, and then we'll show you what we're talking about. All right. The Sophie Shaw. That would be a great one. This is one of the bigger ones. You would need a minimum of three. And everyone knows the Sophie Shaw is ridiculous ridiculously easy. I think it'd be fun if you did two colors and did like two row, two row, two row. Oh, yeah. Um, especially in, I mean, it could be those two. If you're a Raiders fan. Color 307 and the previously shown 306 mm -hmm. would be a really fun one. So 307 is a really pretty pewter silver. You can see how there's like a light and a dark to the shimmer. Here's another fun sweater. This is the Cumulus Blouse by Petite Knit. Now they're using lace weight. Lace weight equals Erin. So it would, it's going to be definitely not going to be this thin. Yeah, because they use like two mohairs. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, so oh, cute. chunky baby. Yeah, let me see. But you can use, that's the thing, you're not limited to do just the worsted. Yeah, see, look at, here's people who use DK. I love seeing, like, who would have thought, right? This was probably their leftovers. So you could do... Easily could do mohair, but you're not limited to it. But instead of regular mohair, I would do, I almost would do two colors held together of like this. 
Oh, the like Marl the mm-hmm. alpaca super light to yeah. give you. Now this you actually only need one strand, right? Because it's worsted. You could do the whole sweater out of this. That would be pretty. See, I, I'm tempted by this. This is pretty. Which that's not your normal blue. Not at all. What do you think? Is it a good color? It is a good color. Though. I would choose this normally. Yeah. Or pink. But I love this alpaca light. I am a big fan of it. This is another one that I love. Oh, the teal? Mm-hmm. There's just good colors in here. And that one was, yeah, under $10 for two eighteen. Man, you'd hardly need any of that. Right. I got to decide what my next project is to take to the trade show coming up. It's cute. I'm like, maybe this one. Maybe. Buying the pattern, I'm buying it. So that's a good sign. You know why? It's easy. Like, that's a good project for traveling. And we know that her patterns are very easy. Very well written. All right. We've got more colors. I love this one. Ooh, I'll show this one next. It's not the one that I was going to do originally. This one is like the natural white color 308. So you've got that soft white with the silver metallic, so it gives it that slight silvery leaning. It reminds me of, uh, like, the sun glimmering off the snow. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm opening up, Susan. You're opening up the three million tabs? Yep. Yeah. I think there's some crochet in there, too. All right. Here's some other options. This is the Waldkin is how I would say it. Because I don't think it's Waldkine. Okay. I'm sorry. Look at this. That is one Your bundled up baby. baby would slobber all over that. It's so cute, though. It's super, that's really cute. You could make it larger just by going bigger. Um, let's see, we've got, oh, this is another. That's fun. The Sycamore sweater. I like that it goes across the arms. That's fun. That would be great in that yarn. Oh, that'd be perfect. Mm-hmm, because it would really show the color nicely. Like little striations. Mm-hmm. Traveler's cardigan. This blousey sleeve's really popular right now. All right. Okay. I'm in love with this color. So beautiful, rich. Color 301, which is this beautiful coppery rust. You can see how rich the shimmer of the metallic makes the color. Here's a really fun jacket. Now this is actually a jacket jacket. That's cute. That's beautiful. Ooh, look at the texture. Mm-hmm. You don't have to make it that long, so you're like, holy Toledo, that's way too long. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Anna's favorite, pockets. Yes. So sh this one didn't put pockets. The other one did. Wow. Top down on circular needles. Classy. Oh, excuse me. One of these days, I'm going to get you like you did me, and I'm going to say it, and it's going to make you not sneeze. Oh, that's, I've had people do that. Okay, gorgeous. The saddle shoulder look. I like, I even like this neckline, and I'm not normally, I see this as like a sweatshirt. Yeah. It could be a glammy sweatshirt with a little bit of fun. Right. 
All right, we have two more beautiful colors. I am a huge fan of olive or sagey green. So pretty. This is color 303. You can see that the um, metallic has a little bit more of a yellow green tone, while the cotton and merino has more of that blue green tone. So you get that really pretty mix of warm and cool. makes it like I want to stick it in the middle because it makes it to where it's like it pairs nicely with the cool tones but it also pairs really nicely with the warm tones for the crocheters look at this gorgeousness this is the now ignore the colors are 70s right this is the six day popsicle blanket but that's gorgeous this that's I fun. love that I like it little. almost looks like fox paw almost but I like the little, because they only did like one row of the granny square mm -hmm. stitch. It's like, they look like little hearts. Mm -hmm. Six day popsicle. Ooh, that's pretty. I could see you wearing that. The librarian of this. Mm -hmm. It's funny, it's that same pattern as the first, the stitch pattern. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. The other one got bigger, but it's really pretty. What do I have here? Oh, Blackberry Pie. This is a Kristen Tendike pattern. Look at all that, that work. Crisscross cable in the middle. Looks uh, like they were trying to make like a picture or something at first. I'm like, is that supposed to look like something? Wow. That reminds me of that one ribbed top I did a long time ago that had all the the traveling rib. Mm -hmm. But it's in, this is it almost looks like um, mesh. Like this is um, I don't can't think of it. I love this. Like I this looks like Game of Thrones for some reason, right? Oh. Chain mail. So the, it looks oh, like the sleeves do. Yeah. Yes. Kind of. I thought you were talking about the middle part, and I'm like, I cannot picture what you're talking no, about. No, it looks like Game of Thrones. Yes, yeah. it kind of looks like the throne in mm, the middle. It's so That's pretty. It's like it looks like they're trying to make a picture. Yeah. If you're looking to do a blanket, look at this crocheted. Oh, I love this pattern. Oh, that's a cool texture. This is a fun crochet blanket. That must be um, post stitches. Mm-hmm. Which will make there it nice and cozy. That's pretty. I mean, look at that. It looks like knitting. Oh, and they're speaking my language on the hook size. It said an L. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Because I don't do G and worsted. That's like, no. Too tight That's for, you. for like a stuffed animal. All right. And last but not least, this gorgeous uh, pink to round out the collection. A really soft blush pink with more of a rose in the metallic so you get that little extra warmth from the glitter that is color 300. That one feels like it needs I love here. Patty says she needs her kids to make more babies. Um, mm -hmm. Are they in the baby making stage still? Looks like a spider. It does look like a spider. All right. I didn't want to say that for the heebie-jeebie people, but that's what I was imagining the whole time. I'm like, ah, it's a bug. Look at this. That's interesting. It's like a uh, flannel shirt. Yeah. With the pocket, the collar. I mean, obviously not the yarn choice. I love seeing all different people wear them. This one's kind of fun because she did like different colors for the panels. Mm hmm. That's interesting. I mean, you could make it more contemporary, right? Like that would go with everything or like, I mean, this gal, she was just bold. What did she? So Lace DK makes a worsted 13 stitches. I like that. Gold dust jacket. So a sweater jacket. 
is knit with boucle and mohair held together. And you said it may have to be her grandkids. That's what I was thinking. We all want more. That's where you just make the things, because then you're prepared for when they do say, guess what? That's right. You put it in your hopeful chest. There's that. I still, I still really like that one. All right. We do also have in the Cotton Merino family book, we've got some a pattern that would work great. Started. Oh, but is that oh, for that one? Better, yeah. yeah. But we can show cotton merino glam. So I think most of these would work. Yeah, all the cotton merinos are the same weight. So it's like you can use any of the patterns in mm -hmm. this book with the glam. Maybe not volume. I feel like that's the only big one. But this is cute. I like that offset look. Love this one. This is actually made out of cotton merino glam. Looks like a tennis tennis sweater. Oh yeah, that's kind of. This is the one. I'll try this on later for you guys. So we have this one. Volume, volume. Oh, love these ones. I just relate. That's almost like what we just saw in crochet for the blanket. That yeah. kind of checkerboard look. Yeah, that one really looks almost woven. Mm-hmm. Definitely oversized in this one. Just a real comfortable fit. This is beautiful. Love all the cables. That's another cotton merino clam. Cotton merino glam. Um, anyone who purchases the uh, yarn today, we're going to throw in one of the books valued at $19.99. <coughs> until so, we run out. Until we run out. We have a few left. Just write in the notes, uh, I'd like the book, right? Or something like that. But if you do, then we'll just automatically know until we run out. I don't know how many are left, but we're trying, you know. I'd love to pass on the patterns if we could. All right, let's talk about what we have on a schedule for classes. Um, on Tuesday, June 13th and the 20th, we are teaching a learn to knit a cowl class. So teaching long tail cast on how to join it in the round, how to knit, how to purl, and um, just the real fun things to get you started without being too much work. Um, I love this one. That pattern would be really cute with the cotton merino where you did the summer knit. You knit in one color, you purl in another color. It looks really pretty. Uh, next in the lineup, we have Friday, June 16th and the 30th and July 7th. We have the cactus flower shawl. We are teaching it in three one-hour classes to make it much easier and gives you time to get to the next part. On Tuesday, June 27th, we have La Mer de Coré, which is a DK weight yarn. You could do one to two skeins of Cosette. This is knit on a size eight needle. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't swatch to achieve. So I'm like, don't swatch people, just cast on. We put that there as a CYA because it's not my fault if you yeah. end up with a cowl that fits the house. But just remember, you guys, cowls, you know, it may be a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit bigger. But I love the CYA on that one. And it you know if you knit loose or tight, you know that. So you already know that. Go down. Size appropriately. Exactly. Go for it. Uh, we have Lemon Spritz, which Anna is finishing hers up. That is going to be a three-session, one-hour class just to get you through, like, the major points of it. 
Uh, we do it every year. I think it's a fantastic way. If you're a newer knitter and you want to start on a sweater, this is a great opportunity. So we'll teach you everything that you need to to get the sweater done. And you also have the um, video that you'll be able to pull out and watch at your leisure the next time you're going to split for, um, let's say, top down where you're going to split. You can watch it again. Uh, the next thing, we don't have a sign, but that would be great um, afterwards. Maybe we can have like a little sample. Uh, I'll let you talk about the casting on three ways. Uh, so we have the casting on three ways class will be on Friday, July 14th. Um, that one is going to be um, three different cast ons. So we traditionally teach you guys the long tail cast on, but we wanted to give you guys some other choices because there are a lot of different ways that you can cast on and sometimes different methods are better for different situations. Like when you're casting on for the underarm stitches on a sleeve, mm -hmm. um, you're not going to use a long tail cast on because you'd have to add another piece of yarn. And they'll tell you to do an E cast on, but that looks sloppy. So in class, I'm going to teach you three different cast ons. One is the German twisted cast on, and that's where you do. It's a variation of the long tail, but you're casting on in patterns. So knits and pearls. So you would do two regular knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, and it looks beautiful. So we're going to teach that. We're going to teach the cable cast on. And third, which is most exciting, we're going to teach a new cast on that I learned. It's called, you guys can look at it. Tilly Buddy's Very Stretchy Cast On. So a new cast on um, that will help you. I know a lot of people use Jenny's Surprisingly Stretchy, but it looks too stretchy when I do it. So it is not my uh, choice. It's a one hour class. We're going to spend about 20 minutes on each um, method of casting on. So We've been getting lots of feedback that people want technique classes. This is our first that we're going to do. Um, but just remember, if you're asking for the classes, sign up for them. Because what we find normally, technique classes don't do well. People want projects. So we would, we are more than happy. I love suggestions. I've got a bunch this week on technique classes like, how to get your sleeves to fit you, like how to do, do a tapered sleeve if it gives you something else, how to increase and stuff like that. So we're figuring out how maybe we'll have make your sweaters fit class and then there will be maybe three different classes that will each teach a technique for what I do, right? I think it helps. Anna's pretty good. She just gets to knit it like it says. I do some modifications to make it fit my body a little bit better, which is obviously uh, what I want. I don't know. We I lost everything. Where? It's oh, out. it's cut out. All right. So we're going to talk about what we're wearing. I've got two things that I'm going to be talking about today. One, you guys know I'm in love with this one. This is. Um, our exclusive yarn from Dream and Color called Froggy Kisses. Uh, it is an assigned pooling pattern that we used. But look, even without the assigned pooling, it's beautiful. Like I would wear a sweater out of this. With And you guys know I have issues with things, um, variegated yarn. I just think, I think it'd be beautiful in this, this pattern. Which that's the Rocket T. And if you go and see the Rocket Tee, it looks nothing like that because they have stripes with mohair. So we just ignore that. What do you like about it? V-neck. Who doesn't want a V-neck? Anna's wearing a V-neck today, too. I mean, V-necks are amazing. So this has just not uh, hard things to do. We do have an on-demand class for it. If you haven't done this type of shawl, we have a great trick that we show to do your pickup. Um, and there's a beautiful Pico edge on this one. Who knit, who knit this one? This Patty. one was Patty. Patty Palmer. Thank you, Patty. 
Um, we're getting to the point that we, people who are interested in test knitting our new sweater, if you can email me at hello at Natik Yarns, uh, we can get some information to you guys. I'm just sewing up the sides. I'm very close. But I would say next week, we would at least have enough to get you started on that one. All right, let me show you what Anne is wearing, and then we'll show Susan. Then you guys can come back to me, and I'll show you my final outfit. So this is Nizana. This is a crochet top that it could be a swimsuit cover-up. I don't ever go anywhere where I'm in a swimsuit, so I just wear it over a cami with a skirt. So cute. Um, Natalie, this is the one you were asking about. Sport you could weight, make it longer. Sport weight yarn. Um, it's basically two hexagons seamed together via slip stitches, so very easy to put together. Mm -hmm. um, I love this. To make it longer, because you can't really make the hexagons longer without making the body bigger around. Mm -hmm. After you seam it, I would just, like, start doing this stitch pattern in the round so you'd have like a little band that goes mm -hmm. this way at the bottom and it wouldn't look it wouldn't look much different yeah you the only thing is you wouldn't have this little ridge here yeah you could do like two double crochets in a row and that would kind of mm -hmm. blend in and make it very turn subtle. around show them how the fit stick your arms up is okay it's really pretty like that you guys see stay that way all day that's right just keep your arms up you can see it's almost like mitered crochet. Oh. This is a linen blend yarn. I'm gonna do it, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling so you. I know. <laughs> this one is Clinker Bell Cowl by Casapinka, and this was some. Is that a new one? Yeah. This is uh, Alexandra's double knit sister, so I it's fingering, but it's double stranded. Oh, you did So I just double stranded it. Oh wow, because that's not it's, really what it's for, but I love it. No, but it's but a you DK, could. Yeah, it's a DK pattern, so I just made the yarn do DK because I did want to separate the two balls or the two, you know. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, you whip that really out. Fun little stitch pattern. Very pretty. Her double knit sister is traditionally for knitting socks so you yeah. can do two socks at the same time and you're unraveling wait she rolls it up now yes yeah, rolled up now. so it used to be just the fabric but you normally you would just do two socks at the same time which none of us want to do that so we're not so i am modeling this is the cotton merino i'll come out from behind so you guys can see it's uh got the slits which is gorgeous. I like this detail here with the crochet. And uh, just a nice fit. It's an oversized fit. You guys can see um, the sleeves a little bit long, but I don't mind that. You can push them up. I do like a little bit more tailored, so I did not knit this. We got it from Knitting Fever, but a cute sweater. I like it. All right, and last but not least, we do have a little birthday surprise. Starting today, until, while supplies last, we had the cutest little stickers made for you guys. Um, and there we go. So anyone who purchases uh, from now until we run out or the end of June, you are going to get a Natik Peep sticker. They are waterproof. Uh, you can even... I mean, I would hand wash them, but they do say that they're not going to um, come off easily. For reference, I mean, this one I didn't even get down well because of the tapered shape of my cup. But this one's been on here for like two years. And even with those little bumps, because I didn't get it on correctly, it hasn't fallen off. Yeah. So they're pretty indestructible. Stickers. And these are the new glitter ones. So that's We'll just pop one in your order, uh, so not to worry, but effective today. So even the people who we packed orders today, we'll put one of those in your order. Let me turn that off. But thank you, everyone, for joining us. We hope you loved uh, the showcased yarn of the Cotton Merino Glam plus all the patterns. So 
remember, you don't have to use the yarn that they're saying. You can look through your stash. You can find other things. It just really gives you options when you realize the double-stranded mohair is not for everyone. You just need to get the same gauge as the pattern says. So um, I think that's going to be it for now. We will see everyone tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, the boutique is open 11 to 5 today and tomorrow. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me at hello at Nitique Yarns. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Bye-bye.